The Twa Dogs. Uh, a tale. Twas in that place, a Scotland's Isle, that bears the name of old King Coyle. Upon a bonny day in June, where we're in through the afternoon, Twa Dogs there were not trang at time. For gathered ants upon a time, the first I'll name they cared him sather was keep it for his honour's pleasure, his hair, his eyes, his mouth, his lugs. Shewed he was nain a Scotland's dog, but while some place far abroad, where sailors gang to fish for cad, is locked leathered. Bra breast colour shewed him the gentleman and scholar, but though he was o oh, high degree, the fiant a pride and a pride had he. But Wade he spent an hour caressing even with the tinker gypsies messin at Kirk or Market Mill or Smiddy in a top tyke do air said Judy. But he would stand and glad to see him, and strength on stains and hillcocks with him. The tither was a ploughman's cally, a rhyme and rent and raven billy, wa for his friend and comrade had him, and in his freaks had loath cad him. After a sum dog in Highland sang, was made lang thine Lord knows how lang, and he was gush and faithful tyke. And ever let a shang or dyke his honest son's a bonced face, a got him friends in ilka place. His breast was white. His toosy back, well clad with coat a glossy black, his gossy tail with upward curl hung o'er his hurdies with a swirl. Nae doubt but they were fain a either, an unk of pack and thick together, with social nose, wild snuffled and snow kit wild mice. And moody warts they hawk it. Well, scored our inlang excursion and worried either in diversion till teared at last with money a farce. They set them down upon their arse, and there began a lang digression about the lords of the creation.